I want to say this is the angriest I've seen Canucks fans, but we all know that's not the truth. Going into tonight's game against Buffalo, the Canucks were the only team still winless in the NHL. I didn't watch the game because why would I? However, I did catch the last 10 minutes or so after the Calgary game ended. Phenomenal one, by the way. And we saw, after an empty net goal, fans throwing things on the ice. The broadcast seemed to purposely cut away. We did see a few shots of things on the ice, jerseys, drinks, we saw it being cleaned up. We even saw a PA announcement saying, hey, don't throw things. And I'm guessing the NHL probably asked broadcasters not to show it for that reason. It's against arena rules. Either way, the Canucks have been a weird combination of both really bad and really unlucky. This was actually the first game where they weren't leading going into the third period. But it's not all unlucky because so far in third periods this year, the Canucks have only scored one goal while being outscored by 15. There's so many weird stats like that, like the fact that the Canucks had multi-goal leads for their first four games. I'm guessing it's really not fun in the room right now for Canucks players, and it's probably also not a whole lot of fun for Bruce Boudreau, who's been trying now to get his 600th win. I don't suspect we'll be hearing Bruce there at his chance anytime soon. The Canucks have also got to be, as an organization, in a pretty tough position because we know they weren't even sure about bringing the coach back despite his pretty high level of popularity going into the offseason. I also have to give a shout out to Rasmus Dahlin, who continued his goal scoring streak to five games, which is an NHL record for a defenseman to start the season, and also got a pretty nice assist on an ultimately meaningless goal almost immediately after the empty net. Just look at everyone's reaction. You can hear the boos if you watch the video. It really sums up how things are going right now.